Hello YouTube. Well, the plans today is to help my niece uh, changing oil on her car. And I'm on my way to a uh, uh, Toyota dealer. Uh, I like to use uh, original oil and oil filter. Uh, I know uh, some folks may have different opinion that you may not have to. Um, but uh, this Cambodian redneck uh, like to get the original one. All right. Uh, let's get to it. That's a car. Same one I changed the wiper blades on. Okay, so you want to go ahead and release the oil dipstick here. Uh, that way it, when you drain uh, the oil, it helps uh, flows easier. And then of course the the uh, engine oil fill the cap here. So I should move that. Okay. Check that out. Set it aside here somewhere. best have a cloth like this so it doesn't oil doesn't get into your engine okay so what do you need I'll show you what you need all right so uh, the oil grade uh, according to Toyota it's uh, uh, 0w20 uh, synthetic and uh, it takes about five quarts okay that's what you need now of course the oil filter um, they did exactly like Lexus now I guess they're all the same on a newer model so again don't forget your uh, drain plug washer and then uh, and I'll show you how to do this uh, what this is you push in uh, and then it helped drain the rest of the oil uh, before you remove uh, the oil housing. Of course, don't forget to replace the, those two gasket uh, you need to replace. And of course, the filter itself. Okay. Um, filter uh, housing removal tools. Uh, this is what, uh, what you need. It's kind of a special one. Uh, again, same thing as Lexus. You see the three notches here? Um, that has to go, and I'll show you um, on the housing. Uh, it helps uh, to slide in and then uh, easier to remove. And of course, 14. Okay, it's number 14 here, the socket. And of course, the, the ratchet there. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, under the engine all right so this is the uh, uh, oil filter housing and uh, you see that three notch right notches right there and this is what I was trying to show you earlier uh, on the tools itself okay see that three notches right there okay so that goes there in there uh, just like that Okay. All right, and it's just your normal uh, ratchet here. Just put it in there, and uh, and then just uh, turn it to the left. So I'll try to set down the camera, uh, and then to, uh, I'll show you when it gets to that point. Okay. And then, of course, your. Uh, See here, I can show you here. There you go. Of course, your uh, drain plug. It's right there. You can see it here. It's kind of hard uh, to see, but uh, that's your old drain plug. So uh, we'll, we're going to remove that. And that takes 14, number 14 uh, metrics. And then we'll let it drain. Okay. 
All right. Let's try to show you guys this here. So number 14. You can see that. Okay. So this unbolt it like that. Okay. And then once it's uh, loose enough, pull your drain, cut your here and, uh, and do by hand. That's going to throw it out. So you can see that. Let's see if you guys can see that or not. Somewhere there. Okay. There it goes. All right, we'll drain, and then uh, we'll come back to it. All right, so I think we are good to put the drain plug back in. Push this out, and now it's going to drip on the ground. Let me put this back in. And you want to you want to do this by hand. Um, it should be uh, easily um, screw back in. Not try to force it, otherwise you'll st strip the thread. Okay, so it's just like that, uh, hand tight. And then after that, uh, you can use the wrench to tight it down. It doesn't take much, do. Okay, so I'm over tight it. Just like that. Hand tight is fine. Just like that. Okay. And that should be good. There you go. Alright. Clean that off. It's good. And uh, next, we are going to remove the uh, oil filter housing. Okay, so this here, uh, you know, is your normal um, extension. And just put it in there. And uh, and then to turn to the left. All right, next we are going to move this. There you go. All right. You want to get a longer extension? Uh, it'll help not too long, but I think the mid size length it'll help move that so now it's loose. You wanna bring your thread catcher back reach in there and then remove that. Okay. You guys can see that right there. So some oil is going to come out. Okay. I guess not that, not that bad. Okay. And now, uh, we're going to use the, the, um, the plug that uh, they provided. I'll show you. All right, so this, all right, so this, this is the, uh, the push-in plug here. 
uh, that they provided uh, with the when when you purchase the oil filter it'll come with it it'll comes with it um, so the same thing as the Lexus like I said okay looks like they move to this type so that you push it in and I'll show you in a minute here So you see that that you push it in like this, okay? Push it in like that, and then oil is gonna come out here. Uh, the the res the the rest of the oil is gonna come out, and then after that, you take that out. And I'll show you. I'll show you next, okay? You see the oils coming out? See there? See that here? Okay. And just let it drain. Let it drain for a while. Okay, it shouldn't take that long. Okay. Then come back to it. Alright, so this here is the... Usually I clean that out. So that's the first uh, 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 oil filter housing uh, drain plug. Okay, so that's what we're, that's what we just took off. All right. All right, so we looked at it. Uh, it looks like it's, uh, we're ready. All right, so, so this here is just try to pop it off. See, it's just like that. Pop it off like that. Okay. And then just drop it in the oil pan. Uh, or the, and uh, cut you there, okay. And then to, uh, next, we are going to remove remove that whole housing, okay. All right, uh, I'll show you next. All right, so uh, we get this uh, oil filter housing removal uh, tool ready. And uh, again, don't forget that three uh, notches, okay. Uh, I'll show you. Next. And you can see that there. Not the three. So it's still right there. And just remove it. And once it loose enough, uh, you can do by hand. You want to uh, bring over your oil uh, uh, cut you there, okay? So it doesn't get everywhere. Shouldn't be much oil left. There you go. Bring this back. Okay. Hand. hand, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so it looks like here. All right. So we'll replace uh, a new filter. Wow. Let's look at the color. All right, we'll get to it. You just uh, pull it out, just like that, okay? And uh, and put a new one in. And then next, you do want to replace. You see this uh, gasket right here? See right there? Pull it out. Okay. that out. Oh, there you go. Just pull that gasket out. Here. 
just like that. So this old gasket. And then to, here's a new gasket. Okay. So let me open that and uh, I'll show you. All right. So then I do want to add a little oil. Make it uh, easier to slide through there. oil to it just like that All right and then to have to do is just just slide it in okay and make sure um, it is smooth slide it in just like that just like that. Okay. Make sure uh, double check that it is it's move uh, smoothly and easy. Talk about the gasket itself. You can see it like that. Okay. And then the next one it goes here. Okay. Next one goes here. You can see that. All right, let's put a little oil. There, just to help. And then it goes there. Just like that. And then, the, you know, I usually go ahead and put the, the nut back in. Put this back in that we took off earlier. It's just to help hold in place. I uh, don't have to really uh, uh, tight it down hard or anything. So that way the gasket don't fall off. Because when you install, it's going to be like this, a like vertical like this. So the chance that gasket down is going to fall off. So that would help. And then the next, we get a oil filter. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't tell you which direction. So you can put either way, each, either direction. I was trying to say, and just slide it in there, okay, and press it down, just like that, okay, just like that. It's got a spring, a little spring load here, okay, just like that. All right, and uh, we're ready to put this back in, okay. I'll show you that next. All right, so you got everything there and uh, ready to put this back in. Okay, just like that. And hand tight it first. So it goes smooth. You guys, you all can see that. Okay. Now we use a tool. I use a tool here. See that, so now I use the tool back in there to make sure the notches should uh, line up. Makes it easy. Just like that. Right. Tight that in.
Okay. So that's the, you can't go any further. You can feel it. Uh, when you do it, you can feel it. So when it's tight and locked in, that's it. There, there's no other movement to it. All right. So we remove that. And then next, we're going to tie this back. Okay. We'll tie that. And tie it first. It's about right there. And you can tie that back in. Alright, so. Oh, that's hand tight also. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't go anywhere, so that's it, as far as you could go. And we are all done, down here, and uh, we're going to go up and start uh, uh, putting the oil, alright? Alright, so we are back on the top of the engine side. Um, so we push the oil dipstick back in. And then uh, this is where you, you're going to pour it all in there. All right, so uh, just a little tip here is that you want to put a cloth uh, around uh, where you're going to uh, fill your oil here because uh, you know the chance is uh, it's going to spill some or you missed it and uh, whatnot and it's going to get under there. But you can remove the cover and clean it too, so. Um, all right, so let, uh, let's put it there. Okay. All right, I am going to finish the rest and uh, I'll come back to us here. All right, so I put about uh, four and a half quarts so far. All right, and uh, usually I like to check where we're at, even though they said it's, it takes five quarts. It looks, looks pretty good to see that. Y'all can see it looks, yeah. Maybe a little bit more, I think. Okay. Oop, she stripped. Yeah. Make sure you clean that off. Put this back in here. So, what I like to do at this point, uh, I put the make sure the dipsticks uh, all the way back, and then the oil filler cap tight back in. And then to, uh, I will go um, turn on the car for a little bit and let it run a little bit, and then I'll come back uh, and double check one more time, and then if I need to feel more oil and, and then I'll do so. Okay? So I'm gonna go start the car. Alright, so uh, that should be long enough to to run the car a little bit, and then I, and then I double check it. Yep, 
I think we uh, looks pretty good. So I think just a little bit more, and I'm gonna put the rest of the oil. Five quarts. Put the cloth back just to protect from spillage. Ooh. See what I tell you. All right, I think we're all good. Clean under here, so make sure. And then we can put the oil filler cap back on. Okay, hand tight. That should do it. All right, uh, last but not least, uh, we are going to go inside and uh, we're gonna um, reset. We're gonna do a reset, oil service reset. All right, so I'll show you inside. Inside the car. All right. All right, so we're inside the car, and uh, all you have to do is to uh, hit this to uh, accessory mode, okay? You're not starting the car. Okay, so you can get that accessory mode on. See that? So the thing's on. Okay, and then the and then on the steering wheel itself, um, we're gonna use these uh, backward arrow here, uh, and then the toggle here. Okay, and then you'll see in the screen there, flashing right there. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the the back here. Hopefully, you can see both at the same time. Okay, and then. This toggle here, you wanna when you when you hit it like that, left or right, then the message there's change, and then you wanna get to vehicle setting, which is that's where we add. Okay, and then you wanna hit oh vehicle setting, that's where we at. Then you wanna hit enter. Okay. Alright, hit enter, which is the the center button here. Keep playing. And then the then you all right, at the schedule maintenance, you want to hit enter. And then it asks you, you want to reset the data. You want to toggle this up to where that is, the up and down. You want to go to yes, and then hit hit enter here, the center button. And then it said data has been reset. Okay. And that's it. Appreciate you all.